What's up, beautiful people? Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. You know I do. Curl, curl, girl. Welcome back for another video. <laughs> hey, girl. What's Papa? Lock in. Girl, in this video, I want to tell you all about the skincare products that I've really been like on, like, gotta have it, um, reading up on, and stuff like that. Um, also, too, I wanted to show y'all some new products that I bought as well for my skin. Uh, I just find that, you know, the skincare routine is definitely necessary, but then I have to remind myself the rest of my body matters too. Um, so until then, uh, we're gonna focus just on skin, or well, as in face for right now. So let's get this video started. Ow, girl, let's get it, let's get it, let's get so it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go in the order of like facial cleansers for right now, you know, so on, so on. So first off with facial cleansers, um, I do love Jax, and that's how it's pronounced, Jax. Um, this is a black owned company as well. This is their healing and face cleanser, healing face cleanser. And I really like how just gentle it is on my skin. Sometimes I like um, exfoliant type of cleansers, but uh, for the most part, I prefer something like this um, on my face. So that's nice and just, you know, easy going. And I also like that it's in a glass bottle because I can reuse this type of stuff. I'm just letting you know, like, we can reuse that type of stuff. I also have Natural Annie's Essentials, and this is their, well, her face wash. Um, this is a black owned company as well. Um, so this is her face wash. It smells so good. Um, so when it's time for me to like, exfoliate my skin. I do like to use Garnier, Garnier Skin Active. This is their deep pore exfoliating scrub. And so I like to use that on my face um, when I know it's just time, girl. You know, you know what it's time. So let's move on to toners, all right? So for toners, I do like to use, I was using Pixies, their Glow Tonic, and that's pretty good. Um, so I use that basically as my backup, basically until this, if, once I run out of this, and then I'll use the Glow Tonic. Um, you can tell it's real because I actually bought two of these. So this is London Ivy's Natural and Organic Products. This is their line or her line. And this is her Refreshing and Balancing Face Toner. And so I really like this. Like you actually feel it too once you put it on. Uh, so this has ro rose hip oil, witch hazel, chamomile, and lavender floral water. So I just like how like my, fit, my skin looks and feels afterwards. I also um, like how this uh, this particular product definitely does help with my scarring. Um, you know, those days when you just see the bump and you just go right at it and pop it, when you know you don't supposed to pop it, mm -hmm, and it leaves a scar, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah those moments and so that definitely helps me with my skin so i said let me go ahead and rev on this <laughs> it's been too long so i bought two of these um and so right now that's my number one toner and like i said runner up um or if i'm running out of something um i would definitely grab the pixie um pixie beauties glow tonic and that's pretty good on my skin okay so um yeah so it's pretty simple with toners i mean there are a lot of toners out there so you can you have options for days, sis. But those are, that's the one I use right now. So on to oils, face oils. I do like using Urban, oh, that's not it. Do I have a face oil out here? I'm gonna have to just insert a picture. So I do like to use My Organics um, face oil on my skin. I do like that oil. And I also do like Urban Skin RX. This is their Radiance Restore Oil. I like how both lightweight they are. Urban Skin RX Super C Brightening Serum. Um, it's supposed to just help with evening your skin. And so, well, the skin, your skin tone. And um, I really like using this. I don't use it every single day. Um, not on purpose, I don't know. Just some days I'm like, no. So I probably use this about three to four times out of the week. I use this right after I'm done toning my skin. And you know, just put it on that face and that face is glowing. <laughs> I'm glowing, okay? Um, so that's why I just, I'm at the point where I really don't have to wear makeup, but I still do here and there. Um, but y'all notice in some videos, I'm not wearing any makeup. <laughs> what for when the skin is popping? Huh? What for when you got a popping skin routine? 
Okay, I'm just saying. All right, so let's move on to moisturizer. So I do like Jack's Nourishing Face Moisturizer with yucca and coconut. This is pretty good on my skin. It's very lightweight, like, but yet moisturizing. So I was sitting there like, okay, sis, you you got you found the balance. Uh -huh. Um, I also like Natural Annie Essentials um, Moisturizing Lavender Face Butter. Y'all, this butter is so beautiful. I almost want to put it on my skin, but I'm like, on my elbows. Y'all know I'll be ashy. But I said, no, Janelle, we're going to go ahead and just keep it on the skin, but it's so nice on my skin. I prefer to use this during the winter time, um, a butter um, on my face. That's just my preference. And then during the summer, I use more of an oil. That's just me. Okay, that's what my skin says. Yes, sis, go ahead and do that. That works. Um, and if, if I will say that what I think my skin is, I guess is a combination of oily and dry um, because I get very oily with makeup. So like in that little T-zone area, am I saying that right? <laughs> I also have large pores. So um, it's a lot, of going, a lot of things going on in this face. Um, next up, I do have nat Natural Anti Essential Soothing Aloe Vera Face Gel. This gel is popping. I really like to use this gel at night. I allow this seep in my face at night. Mm -hmm. And just do what it needs to do on my face and just like soothe it, okay? Heal it and all that good stuff. So I like to use this. Um, I really enjoy this. I really enjoy this right here. And it smells good. And I like her packaging. So she's good. Um, so for eye serums, I just like to use this easy going one from Elf. This is just a basic eye serum. It has a rolly ball right here, and it feels so good on my eyes when I'm, um, you know, putting it on there, girl. It's like I wake up. I just, is it a new day? Like, that's how I feel when I put it on my eyes. Um, so, and this is very affordable. Um, I forgot all the oils that's in this. And so once I remember with all the oils, I'll list it right here, but they have like, a, you know, some nice oils in this and I like to use this. And I haven't seen it in store lately, at least in my area. So now I'm probably gonna have to buy some more offline, but, or to see maybe they remixed it and maybe that's why I can't find this. Like, do they got new packaging? I had like bought like four um, a long time ago. So this is like my last one. So I gotta buy some more. Okay. My go-to one when my the the pimples are just like what up? <laughs> What's good, Nate? And I'm like, yo, I don't want you. Lose my number. Like, yo, I'm all set. Uh-huh. This is what comes into play and has my back. Um, the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Charcoal and Black Sugar Mud Mask. I actually got this from Yolanda Renee um, when she was talking about it on her Instagram. And I said, well, let me go ahead and purchase this and see what it's talking about. And girl, I've been using this ever since. I've been using this ever since. So shout out to Yolanda Renee, okay? So yeah, I like how, you know, it's basically that type of mask that like, tightens on the skin. Um, and you know, just helps with purifying it and smoothing it. It's just kind of like spot treatment kind of thing. So I'll put it on certain certain parts of my skin that's, you know, trying to break out. Cause you can see when it's trying to come. <laughs> you can see it, okay? And so I use this right on my face, rinse it off and go about my day. Uh, when it comes to lips, um, I like to use this lip oil by, um, Ulta Beauty and they have you'll see, you just all you gotta do is just ask for that where's their lip oils at and so that's a nice lip gloss that I like to use on my lips um, if I'm feeling a little dry I also like to use this one by Chapstick um, this is their total hydration one this is a moisture and tint one so this is um, in the scent rose petal and I like this and they have some other ones that I like to use on my lips and I also like to use the one from Body Works Body Shop from the Body Shop it is their hemp one hemp it's just, I don't know if I got the full name of it, but it's hemp. It has hemp in it. And um, that's just like a basic lip chap and I like to use that too. And then I also have natural, the, the same brand, Natural Annie Essentials um, Coconut Cream Lip Scrub. This is really good. My, my lips have been acting up because of the winter, like acting up and I'm over it. So I was like, let me get a lip scrub to help me on out. And yes, you can do a DIY one if you want to, but I bought this one out of convenience because I'm a convenience person. That's just what I've noticed that I am. And I'm gonna sit right in that, okay? Other than doing my hair, I do enjoy doing my hair, but everything else, I'm like, ain't nobody make it yet? Why I gotta make it? Can't somebody else do that? <laughs> um, and I also bought some more new stuff right here. So this brand is called Marla, Marla Renee. And so I bought her Milk and Honey. This is a black online as well. I bought her Milk and Honey Luxe Skincare Soothing and Hydrating Coconut Honey Mask. 
mask, okay? So this is a powder, this is a DIY. I said, Janae, come on, just try. You can mix some stuff. You can mix it. We'll see what happens. Also too, I bought uh, her, I bought her Raw Honey Enzyme Hydro Cleanse number two. This is just a cleanser. Overall, it's a cleanser. Um, it has honey in it and whatnot. So um, I bought that. And then I also bought a face scrub. So this is her honey face scrub infused with turmeric, cranberries, and papaya. Yeah, girl. Just trying some new stuff. I'm saying, why not? Mix it up, you know? Mix it up. It's pronounced cake, if I'm not, oops. But this is their marshmallow mask scrub, mask and scrub. And so this is pretty good. It's supposed to help with nourishing and hydrating the skin. It's similar to that other one I showed you where it's a powder base and you just have to mix it. I've also been using this Pearl Essence Rose Water Hydrating Face Mist. Um, I found this at TJ Maxx and this was pretty good on my face. This is also amazing, it's 276. This is their multi-purpose dry oil uh, for face, hair, and body. And so this smells really good. This right here, so it has, let's see what it has in here. Grape, well sesame oil, grapeseed oil, sweet almond oil, jojoba oil, and this one, that's nice. 276, this is black on as well, y'all. So we are on a roll, okay? I'm dropping everything, but we are on a roll, just like Urban Skin RX is. So shout out to us, we are making things happen. So I hope you enjoyed this video, kind of just letting y'all know like what I've been using on my skin lately and also some of the new things that I bought. So let me know down below anything that you um, love for your skin. Let us know, keep us educated so we can go ahead and purchase some new stuff for our skin too, girl, okay, thanks. But yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, find it educating or entertaining, let me know by clicking the like button, girl. And also too, girl, join my beautiful people crew. <laughs> it's what we do. And um, yeah, you can do that by clicking the subscribe button. Okay, thanks. And as always, I thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Peace. 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 Ooh, peace.